and I'm a little bit nervous. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sam. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, as you guys can see by the title down there, I will be doing a hack, foundation hack from TikTok. I know that this um, hack is going around and went pretty viral on TikTok and I did see a couple of uh, creators doing this video and I wanted to give a try on this video. I'm going to be trying that foundation hack. I did see that Rob Beauty Christie uploaded a video and I wanted to do my take because I do have oily skin and she has dry skin so I wanted to kind of like see how my face and and I wanted to see kind of like if it, this foundation hack would like work really well for oily skin before we get started please don't forget to subscribe in a little bit down there and if you want to know about this foundation hack then just keep on watching I don't like having like my wet hair on my face I watched Rabia De Cruci's video and she does have dry skin and I wanted to give it a try because I have oily skin. I kind of want to see how my foundation wore off throughout the day having oily skin with that like makeup hack. I watched this a couple weeks ago and I wanted to give it a try and here we are. So the TikTok is by Rita Matt and this is her and I'm going to be linking it down below. Um, the TikTok so you guys can go and watch it and it's basically I don't know like you do your powder or your translucent powder before you do your foundation I don't know it's just I'm kind of scared because I don't know how my foundation is gonna look and I'm gonna do it kind of how uh, Robbie DeCrista did it that she did half of her face so I'm gonna do this side of my face is gonna be the TikTok side and then this is gonna be like kind of like the regular how I do my uh, routine makeup routine every day and I did upload my video so if you guys want to watch that I'm gonna link it up here and I'm a little bit nervous I'm gonna start off by con um, concealer I'm gonna start off by moisturizing my face and change your whole routine and try this instead moisturize first then after moisturizing take some translucent powder I usually use the fit me one and I just okay so she said I did, I kind of like did a little bit of research on YouTube and um, what's her face? It's my Ray Ray, I think. She did a, I haven't watched that video, but I did see that she did a, let me see. She did a applying powder before foundation and I am going to watch that later today because I'm intrigued. Because it looks like she put a lot of powder on the thumbnails and then she said, apply um, the translucent powder and I do have the one that she uses this is the Maybelline fit me powder so I will be taking this one and using it today this is in the shade fair clear and I'm gonna take she said to take a little bit so I think what I'm gonna do I did see that um, Christy did not let the moisturizer kind of like sink in so I think I am gonna let it sink in so that I can see maybe if that made a difference so I'm gonna let this moisturizer sink and I'll be right back my moisturizer is all synced in and I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this morphe e4 which is a kind of like an angled blush brush but is the one that I have I didn't want to use like my brush that I use like my everyday powder to like set in so I'm gonna grab just a little bit and we said this side was gonna be the TikTok so I'm gonna apply a little bit So I'm going to take my Morphe uh, Continuous Setting Spray. So I'm going to wait for the setting spray to dry. She said that my makeup is going to look amazing. So my expectations are high. Right now I'm going to be going in with my e.l.f. Putty Primer. I do use my Milk hydro primer if I want it like to last but usually like my everyday I do just put on my putty primer and that's usually the only primer that I'll use and my face does feel a little bit like sticky because of the setting primer because of the setting spray not setting primer 
Now for foundation, I'm gonna be taking my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation and I did do a first impression and I'll link it up here if you guys wanna watch that. I'm gonna go in with a sponge. Now the TikTok itself, like the girl doesn't show you how she does it. She actually doesn't show you what she does and she doesn't show you kind of like an after. Okay, so I'm gonna start dotting this on my regular side. So this is the side that I did my everyday foundation. Right away, I don't see a difference on either side, like first impression. So yeah, let me show you guys in a bit so you can see. So this is the side with my regular foundation routine. This is the TikTok side. <laughs> and I don't see that much of a difference. Actually, I don't see any difference at all. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and then I'll come back and kind of show you guys how my face looks and wear it throughout the day and we'll see how long it lasts. So I'm gonna in because I actually do not see a difference. Please excuse the eyebrow. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but my face looks the same. I did not apply highlighter, so I don't know if you guys can see, but I don't see a difference in how my foundation looks from one side to another. It looks exactly the same. Now, I don't know how this is gonna wear out throughout the day, but overall, it looks good, it looks fine. I know that Christy's video, she, like her her foundation looked a little bit like as it was like separating um, right from the, like right after she finished doing her foundation. I did set my foundation because I do have oily skin and I didn't want to just, you know, my I didn't want my foundation to be without setting because then it gets really oily. Currently, it is 10.50 a.m. So I need to go run some errands. I need to go to work and I'll check in at the end of the day. Hey guys, so it is currently 9.13. That means that I finished doing my whole foundation at 10.50, I believe. So let's say 11. I actually wore this foundation for 10 hours and I'll zoom you guys in a bit so you guys kind of see how the foundation um, wore on this side. This is the side where I tested the TikTok like foundation hack. And then this is the side where I actually just did my regular foundation routine. Definitely see no difference and I'll show you guys in a bit but I don't see a lot of difference between this side and this side my oils are coming through I did not blot or powder my face throughout the day but I can definitely see right here and then here it looks really really dry I did use this concealer which I put back because I am gonna be um, returning it it's a Too Faced Born This Way concealer and right here it looks extremely dry and I this is not like a review on that concealer but like I can see that it was where I put that concealer and that where I set it and so it looks really cakey see it I'm like really tired um so as you guys can see right here it looks really kind of like patchy and my skin peeking through but it's kind of like I don't know it's like the, for the foundation, it's kind of like separating, kind of, right here and here. But yeah, that concealer did not, like, I set my concealer and like, look at those creases. Like, that never happens with my shape tape. I'm not going to be doing that foundation hack and using all those products um, because I don't see a difference. If I were to see a difference in this look... Uh, and this side were to look bomb and definitely a difference between both sides. I'll definitely try it whenever I would go to an event. But because I don't see much of a difference, um, it was just an experiment with this video. Yeah, that is it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And all the products that I used are going to be linked down in the description box. As well as all my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys on my next one.
Bye.